Geraldo may have rolled credits, but what if you want to experience the game's romance, I mean, story again? Your best bet is to try New Game Plus. New Game Plus in The Witcher 3 is a little different to other games as it actually adds and changes elements of the main game, which is definitely worth experiencing for yourself. So here's everything you need to know about New Game Plus. Uh, let's go. Let me know in the comments if you've tried New Game Plus and The Witcher 3 and what you think of it. Firstly, let's talk about things that you need to do before you start a New Game Plus playthrough and then we'll talk about what carries over and then I'll give you some tips and tricks and that sort of stuff. So firstly, before you start a New Game Plus, you need to make sure that you have essentially grabbed everything you want to take with you and know what does come with you and what doesn't. Firstly, something I'll mention is to go and grab the Arendite Silver Sword. You can grab this sword in the Blood and Wine DLC. Now, this sword doesn't scale with your level. It does scale with whatever level you originally get it at, but it does have a damage increase every time you kill a certain amount of enemies its overall damage will increase so it will kind of level with you because of that passive mechanic it does have on it so it's a great silver sword for new game plus that'll really set you far ahead from what you may expect you know if you start out at the game with just what you get in new game plus you'll definitely see a big success from using iron diet i'd also mention to go to the rune right vendor and grab any runes or upgrade and change any gear that you want to do have because you will lose access to him when you do start new game plus make sure you craft anything that you want to take with you as well so whether that be armor and weapons alchemy doesn't matter too much as you do keep your alchemy diagrams you just lose all of your crafting diagrams so make sure you've got everything that you want there and make sure you take everything off the shelves in Corvo Bianca so when you go into new game plus you will keep everything in your inventory as well as in your stash but anything that's on the shelves in Corvo Bianca you will lose so say if you've put you know you've made all the witcher sets and you've put them on the shelves in Corvo Bianca like I did you really need to make sure that you put them into your stash or in your inventory so you actually keep them so you don't lose them you might want to lose them anyway but it's best to keep them and then say like dismantle them to get the resources back if you, you know you're obviously not going to use them in new game plus because there's better gear so the last thing is to clear out any remaining quests and points of interest that you may want to do to try and get your level as high as possible you at least want to be like above level 50 like level 51 52 something like that i'll talk about why in a little bit but that's kind of your general aim i would say is to try and hit that level point mutagens is the last thing you need to worry about before starting new game plus now the muta general that's in your inventory is a quest item so you need to make sure that you've actually used this to consume any like greater blue mutagens like get that extra stuff because you'll lose it when you do start new game plus but also in cover anchor like down the stairs there there is a alchemy station thing that allow you to break down some of the unique mutagens into like smaller mutations this will just give you like a ton of mutagens to start new game plus with as you probably use them to buy the mutations when you get further into the game and get more skill slots because you do need a lot of skill slots and mutagens to buy the mutation slots so that'll just help you be ready for that when you do decide to do that into new game plus and spend those skill points so let's start new game plus now to start you just go new game on the main menu to hit new game plus follow the prompts and then pick the save file that you made that has all of those things that we just talked about in the checklist done and you can start your new game plus journey so when you start your journey you can skip most of the tutorial stuff some of the like scenes in the tutorial will just auto skip like having to you know fight Vesemir again in the tutorial that sort of stuff will just auto skip but what does carry over into new game plus is your skill points, your levels and experience, the mutations and the mutagens that we talked about, as well as your alchemy formulas and the actual alchemy things themselves. So oils, potions, bombs, that sort of stuff, and anything that was in your inventory and in your stash. So anything that you had with you will come with you into the new journey. I also noticed that a weird thing, your hair and like beard will change back to the default, I guess, because of the Vizima scene where he like shaves his beard and stuff. But I thought that was weird that, you know, you lose your cool haircut. But anyway, so the things that don't come with you into New Game Plus, firstly, is your home in Corva V Anchor. Any map exploration that you have done, all your crafting diagrams from the original game, any quest progress. So, you know, obviously the rune right vendor that we talked about, Corva V Anchor is a quest. Anything that is a quest progression thing, you'll lose all of that. All your Gwent cards, unfortunately, you'll lose all of those. That's probably the worst one for me. I wish you kept your Gwent cards. Any of the quest items, monster trophies, and books and letters, all that stuff you will lose into the new game plus. New game plus does change a few things. So the main thing that it changes is essentially everything is 50 levels higher across the board so say if something was like level 2 in the original game it's now level 52 so all enemies will be 50 levels higher all your quest levels so when you pick up a quest and it says you know the recommended level is whatever it will be 50 levels higher than the original and there is also new legendary tier gear to collect so all of the original gear and armor and everything from the base game is still available in new game plus it just has like a legendary marker next to it so it'll say like legendary viper armor or whatever it may be right so the armor and 
weapons and everything will be 50 levels higher than it originally was with damage and armor scaling to match so that you've got that damage and armor abilities to actually fight the enemies that are you know 50 levels higher so now that you know how it works let's talk about some tips for new game plus so new game plus doesn't affect the game's difficulty in any way other than the fact that the enemies are 50 levels higher obviously the actual difficulty of the game is the same so you can choose when you are creating the save file to pick you know story and sword or broken bones or death march difficulty so if you haven't got the death march trophy for like completing the game on death march it's probably a good way to do it because you do get all the benefits of starting out with all your levels and everything which is a big hurdle for the beginning of a death march playthrough because of the extra levels you do get and you know you can essentially unlock basically every skill once you hit the level cap which is 100 in new game plus by the way the level cap's 100 so you can do a lot of wacky stuff with like your skills and unlock essentially like every skill if you wanted to and do some weird things with builds you will get a potion of clearance to allow you to reset your skills at the start of new game plus but i mean you can just buy tons of these in your playthrough even before you start new game plus so it's not a big deal there and as mentioned the level cap is 100 so everything will stop kind of like scaling it around that point one of the hardest things i think in new game plus is finding gear that will scale with you gear that's also you know usable the best thing that we already talked about is aaron diet so aaron diet will level up with you because of the passives you could also go and grab the swords from top notch sword guy in novigrad that new swords that we talked about in a previous video which i'll link here if you want more information but those swords will level up whatever level you buy them at or talk to him at that will be matched to whatever your current level is. So if you, you know, talk to him at level 70, they'll be level 70. You don't buy them then, go talk to him later at level 80, they'll be level 80, etc. There's also some weapons that have been added to scale with you, like the Blade and Bit Sword that has the passive now that its damage will scale with your character level. So things like that are more beneficial for New Game Plus that are scaling above the usual level requirements for things. And you can also go and collect all the Witcher armor from previously. So all the treasure hunt things, if you go and get those armors, you'll actually get the legendary variants, which will be 50 levels higher than the original so that armor is still worth getting and using same with its weapons and etc but until you get to those points of doing those treasure hunts are kind of annoying and take a lot of time to be honest so it's really up to you if you want to do that but there are other ways that you can find some decent ish gear like what we've kind of talked about here also the new gear that was added with the next gen update like the white tiger set and the thousand flowers set those will scale as well so you can go pick them up again in new game plus they'll require level 60 or level 64 so some easy high quality armor and weapons that you can get right out the gate so why play new game plus i think that's a big question is like why not just start a new game and i think there is benefit to that but also it's a little bit different like we've discussed in this video it's a different way to experience the game but you can also you know make different story decisions you can romance different people say you romance trish you can romance yen vice versa you can try a new gwent deck or something like go and collect any of the gwent cards that you may have missed on the original playthrough as a fun little challenge for you guys i think something that i've been tinkering with on my own playthroughs in this like last recent time is turn Turning off the minimap, it can be jarring at first because you don't really notice how much while you're playing the game that you are just staring at the minimap and following the little icon that's telling you where to go. It actually helps like take in the world and that experience if you're trying to force yourself to remember where to go, especially if you've just played the game and you're jumping straight into New Game Plus, you turn that off and you're kind of like focusing on your memory is a little bit of extra challenge to try and do that. And if you use your Witcher senses, the minimap and like quest icons and stuff, we will just like pop back up. So you can still bring them up. It's not like they're gone forever and it's only in expiration but it's just a fun little challenge to try it's also you know in new game plus you can try and clear up any of the achievements that you may have missed as well there's plenty of things you can do in new game plus and i'm actually might try and finish this new game plus playthrough that i just started let me know in the comments if i missed anything about new game plus and everything in the witcher 3 thanks for watching this video till the end thank you to our members for supporting the channel my name is norza and i hope you have a great day